right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today is an unboxing of, or my first unboxing of uh, Patty Wax. I've never had it before. Uh, of course, I'm with most diamond pa painters struggling with that pink wax. It's giving me the business. <laughs> so, um, I ordered Patty Wax, and I heard about how hard it is to get in and get some, so... The day I went in, the only one they had was a cilantro and some uh, tomato, something like that. And I garden, so I kind of like the smell of vegetables. Um, so I ordered it first. So that's the one we're going to unbox first. And this is the packaging. And this one only took a few days to get here. This one right here, I've been waiting on quite a while. Um, but the first one, um, the first one came really fast. But this one right here, it took a while. I'm not sure what was going on. And I know it's not them because they showed, you know, their shipping information. Um, you know, they give you the shipping information or whatever so you can track it. So I opened up the box and immediately there is an aroma of something goody in here. Uh, so let's open that up. Oh, she sent me samples. Hallelujah. I was hoping she would send me some samples. So we're going to put the bag right there. And... Um, this is her note and I love the special touches I love it I love it um, and you guys have seen this before but she says hi Rondra thank you for your order enjoy your new wax and this is from Ben and I'm I say her but there's a husband and wife team I believe so that's awesome and she sent me stickers which people also rant and rave about the stickers so I got octopus and this looks like a sloth I believe and the most beautiful rose. How pretty is that? Okay. Um, and then she sent me some samples. This one is chocolate cream cheesecake. Okay. Oh, smells yummy. This one is maybe some type of su surprise. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the super sticky. I keep hearing people talk about the super sticky. So this may be that. And I may try this today too. And then this one is wild sage and aloe. And of course a red starburst which I am about to partake of right now. Because I have not had breakfast. And then of course this is the tomato leaf coriander is what it was called tomato leaf coriander and it has these cute little specks in it and it actually smells pretty good y'all i thought it was gonna smell you know like tomatoes or cilantro or whatever but it's not even cilantro it's coriander so that's that one this is the second one that i ordered and i can show you my address it's just a p.o box but talk about with why these diamonds are on the table here in just a minute okay so this one is uh, pink bubble gum and of course she sent me a piece of bubble gum and again um, a note and then my stickers Cutimus, cutimus, cutimus. And the pink bubble gum. And it smells like pink bubble gum. <laughs> okay. So I'm not really sure how they get these scents, but it's amazing. So I'll be using those today um, on a couple of projects that I... Um, I've been moving, and I found some projects that have been uh, just sitting around, and I want to get those moved. I actually was already had another work in progress, but I'm going to pause that so I can finish these two quick little um, snack size paintings that I have. I want to get them done. Um, the other thing on my table that I'm going to show you today is um, the DMC chart that I got from Amazon. And the reason I got this is because, like most diamond painters, I save my drills and uh, I'm a teacher I don't make a whole lot of money so I have to save my drills so this DMC uh, chart 
is going to help me, especially with the ones that do not have uh, DMC codes. And uh, so now it's not a problem when I have um, drills that don't have DMC codes that I need to put up. Now, it's my understanding that the DMC actually stops here, if I'm not mistaken. So these other ones are specialty flosses, and so I won't be using those. But all the 477 or whatever colors it is are located on these pages, uh, columns labeled 1 through uh, 19. And so the way I'm going to use that is this. Um, I have these drills, like these right here, were for a project, and they were not labeled with DMC codes. The canvas was not labeled with DMC codes. And so what I'm going to do is just take, uh, you know, put them in baggies and then take one or two out and try to match them and give them a DMC code. Okay, and so I saw somebody else do this, um, so I won't be making a video about how I did that. Um, but there's a couple of videos out there already, so. But that's what I'm going to be doing with those. And as you can see, I have quite a few uh, stacked over here. So, so far, these are the ones that I have. And these came from um, snack size paintings where when I was ordering them, I didn't realize that the rendering would not show um, well. And so... Um, it, the rendering just was horrible and so instead of you know tossing it away or complaining or whatever which was my fault I was new didn't know um, but instead of tossing them I just kept the drills and I have a lot of canvases that I don't use so if somebody's interested in those canvases you can have them um, actually no I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them sorry y'all I'm an Indian giver um, I am going to be doing some DIY uh, canvases um, using Stitch Art Easy 4.0. Yeah, Stitch Art Easy 4.0. Um, I've watched a couple of videos on how to use that, so I will be using that. I've already got a couple of canvases printed. Sorry, y'all. I got a net or something flying around. But anyway, um, I'll be using Stitch Art Easy 4.0, and that'll be another video. So once I start compiling that and getting that together, to see if that will help me cut down on costs as well. Um, but that's all I have for today. Oh, let me show you my whips. My work's in progress. So I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Um, I pledged at Zeta Sigma Chapter, the University of Houston. And I have these cute little, really miniature uh, diamond painting it's done for me and my uh, line sisters. Um, there were 11 of us. One of my line sisters passed away. Um, some years back so I had 10 of them made and I gave everybody who I could you know who who I kept in touch with I gave them one and the others I'll just keep theirs when I find them so hopefully getting my line sisters addicted to diamond painting as well and we've actually already had our live session where we diamond painted and they loved it so yeah and so that's the thumbnail right there I hope I'm in frame hope you can see that but I had these custom and I don't know from where. Um, if you're interested to know where, just uh, let me know and I'll put it in the description box. Or if I can find it, I'll put it in the description box. So I'm going to finish that one, I think, today. And then the other one that I have um, is this one right here. And it, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you about this one. This one was a 15 by 15, okay, the one for my sorority. And then this one right here is a 25 by 30, and it's these green uh, flowers. And I've kind of mentioned it briefly, but green was my mother's favorite color. She passed away uh, a few years ago, and still not, still not there, y'all. Uh, just still mourning. Just can't believe she's gone. But anyway, um, you can see I let some dirt get on it, but I will be framing this one, so I'll be cutting away all of that anyway. But really lost it, couldn't figure out where it was, and like I said, I've moved, um, and so I found it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it. So between today and tomorrow, I'll get both of these finished so I can move back to my whip. Okay. 
all right that's it for today guys uh thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video